Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. Yay! Finally, I have a 10 products from our favorite store in the whole wide world, Daiso, the Japanese dollar store. Number one, extending fork. This was in the kids section, like the toys, but is this a toy or is this a back scratcher? Or is this, <laughs> I thought of all kinds of stuff. This is not just a toy. This is a back scratcher. This is, I'm not gonna get up, but I'm gonna smack you anyway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if your lover is trying to have some of your food and you're like, babe, then come over here and get a bite. Extend that fork all the way to his ass. I think that's how it works. Watch it not work like that. Watch it not be a real fork. Hey, that's a real freaking fork. Okay, how do we do it? Let's read instructions before I poke my eye out. Um, it's like a fucking end. <laughs> okay, if you're born in the 80s, you know what an antenna and a car is. I guess on the TV too, huh? Yeah, it's like, oh my God. Oh, they recycled all the fucking antennas. <laughs> that antenna.com company that went out of business, they sold all their old antennas. <laughs> I thought this had a button. It, they sold all these damn old antennas to the Japanese dollar store and the Japanese dollar store attach a damn fork to the end. Jesus. But I'm gonna use this as a back scratcher, a leg scratcher, and then you have dinner. <laughs> you pick up appetizers. <laughs> you guys already know I'm planning my return to cruising. I don't know when, but it's gonna come back and I'm gonna be the first on. This is what you're gonna need now for the cruise buffet. <laughs> you can't touch nothing, ma'am. That's how I eat. <laughs> this is the most genius thing I've bought at Japanese Dollar Store, you guys. When that dum dum at Walmart is at the checkout line and he's too close, you take this out of your pocket and then you go like this. Back up. That's six feet. And then <laughs> <laughs> That's what you say. He's behind you. He put it behind you. You better be nowhere near my fork. Six feet, motherfuckers. If this hit. <laughs> You're going to keep people away. You're going to be safe and fungalitis free. If you have purchased, I have one back there, one of my fungalitis or any face mask. Thank you very much. These people here were kind enough to get one. I just want to say thank you. If you're interested, I will link them up down below, but this is good too. Wear your fungalitis mask, right? And then this at Walmart. If you're getting hit, you're <laughs> that's what you say. <laughs> if you're getting hit, <laughs> you're too close to me. A dollar fifty people. And look at that. Dinner. <laughs> it's a dinner. I knew that this was in the wrong department at the Japanese dollar store. They don't know. They just thought, oh, for kids, but Vivian just reinvented it. How many can I buy? Wholesale. We got a side business going because we're going to call these fungalitis fork for dinner, doomsday, cruising, keeping dum-dums away. Besides it being a TV antenna, it's actually made very nicely. It's not too cheap and the fork is a legit fork. So I'm sure it's dishwasher safe. <laughs> I love it. And it's also a back scratcher. At night when he's like, babe, scratch my back, scratch me right there. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got him. And be like, this is your fork for tomorrow's dinner, babe. <laughs> That's yours. <laughs> Another idea, your doomsday bag, right? You have to go catch snakes. You don't have to touch them. Be all the way over there. I'm telling you, you guys can use this a million gazillion kind of ways. How much can I sell it for? That's the real question. If I get them wholesale for $1.50, could I sell them for $9.99? That's a good markup. Let me know how many you want. Are you doing stay back? Wait a second, let's read the do not use. What is this for? I don't understand because I found this in the toy section, but on the back it says this is not a toy. Use and keep away from infants. Keep away from fire and heat sources. Do not use for food. My company has now gone bankrupt because they took all my ideas away. What is this for, Japanese dollar store, if I can't use it for any of the things I just suggested? So I'm gonna give the extending fork five. 
Vivian heads. I thought it was genius. Number two. Before we move on, let me set a little goal for you guys. If this video can get 10,000 likes, I'm going to put out a Dollar Tree video next. If you want to see it, hit the like button. Number two. A ham and bacon keeper. Does this not look familiar? A couple of months back, there was this one product that Instagram literally shoved down our throat. It was a, a little thing that closed and it would keep your this thing. When I saw this at the Japanese dollar store, I thought, that's it. I don't know if it's the same thing, but I have here some bologna. It's not bologna. It's oven roasted white turkey. It's bologna. It's not, but we call everything bologna that's in these little containers. So that's what I thought when I first saw this, but now that I'm reading the instructions, I don't know. I need you guys to see it because when I first saw it, that's what I was under the impression. This was that thing. They had knocked it off. That's what I thought. Ooh, they knocked it off just in time. I want one because I think the other one's like $25 on Amazon. I'm like, I'm not paying $25 for that. You're smoking. I think it's different, you guys. But it looks like it, right? Does it look like it or am I just full? <laughs> Both. <laughs> the one on Instagram, it has like a film on top, like some shrink wrap or something. That's how it sealed it. So it has a little lock. And it has a picture of a ham. That threw me off too, okay? <laughs> there's no film, there's no shrink wrap e stuff. It's just, look, I feel tricked because in the picture it looks like, maybe not, I just, do, I just don't read the packaging. See, what I think you have to do is, but this is not gonna fit either, maybe it goes the other way. That's like, who the hell buys ham smaller than this baloney looking thing? Is your ham gonna be like that? That's called uh, pepperoni. <laughs> ham is not, Itty bitty, uh, maybe you should take this to the grocery store so you can measure your ham. This is your template. <laughs> if it's bigger than this, then you can't buy it. Unless you're gonna like trim the sh nobody's gonna do that. So I feel tricked. They made it seem like they didn't. They clearly say it on the thing, but this is not gonna work because I'm over here thinking I can just take the ham and put it on here, but I can't because it's gonna dry out. There's nothing. <laughs> Maybe shrink wrap, just make your own DIY product. I'm gonna have to start selling these. I have no choice, but I'm gonna mark them up, $24.99. <laughs> and if you try to put it with the packaging, it doesn't fit. You need the packaging in order for this still to work. So you're gonna have to put some shrink wrap. Let's try it, you know? We might as well, we're already here. So first things first, shrink wrap. It has to seal both sides, so we need to have it be the length of this thing. I'm gonna say that's good. I don't know, to me, too much work already. Take your little baloney. I'm just gonna grab two. How many fit? That's another question. Nobody's just gonna put two in here, unless you're doing like a sandwich at work. You're gonna need your Martha Stewart template there. Put your ham on top, you're gonna cut, see? What is this for? We're gonna have to make some kind of spiral appetizers or something. Place it in the center, then we close it. I'm gonna say tighten it like this. If y'all start doing this, Daiso. <laughs> Wait. Hey, y'all better, y'all better stop. I want a royalty. Yep. I'm giving you all kinds of ideas to improve your product and y'all can at least send me a damn check. Four million dollars. I gotta go. Check the date. In a week, I better not see my invention at Daiso. That's all I'm saying. Sealed. It's kind of dumb. I was gonna cut the ends, but we don't wanna do that because I'm afraid they'll fall in. So what we're gonna do is like grandma, we're gonna tape that shit to the back fresh. This is dumb. And you know what? We're not wasting these. I'm gonna stack them in there. So even though we had to cut it and slim it to shove it in here and see y'all gotta work on this locking mechanism because that ain't working either for me. Reopen it, back to square one. Now we are reusing that because we don't waste, so we're gonna make a little pile. This is also gonna test the thickness of the stack <laughs> that we're gonna put in here. The bump. <laughs> the bump's always good when it's thick. Drun. Seal it. Now I like to stretch it because <laughs> I wanna get all the air out like this. I feel like it's sealed. For camping, no, stupid. For doomsday, no, stupid. I don't like it. I don't, it's dumb. Can I get my money back? They don't do money back. Have we ever talked about that? They're not playing, final sale. And then they will stamp that shit. And they will stamp that shit on your forehead to remind you, no returns, final sale. 
they have a little stamp and they stamp everything. So I'm gonna give this bacon and ham keeper one Vivian head. And I would give it zero, but one, because I'm sure there's somebody out there that's gonna go through all this trouble. Number three, a light up party coaster. You guys know I love lights. If you don't know, you're new. You're a rookie to Vivian Tries because I am a fanatic of all things LED, little lights. Go back to watch all my videos. You'll see I have a full collection of lights because I love it. Not only for doomsday, for a party, all kinds of stuff. And this is for the next party, you guys. Your party's gonna be lit, but so are your drinks. Something's jiggling around in there. I don't know if it's already busted. It has little diamonds. Look at that. Diamond, 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 diamond. And the center is where our light show is gonna happen. So if you you have glass cups like this, potty. In the back, you have your little battery and a tab. Pull the tab and party has started. And these are LEDs, so they should last you for a good 87 years, I think. Quick question, how much did it cost me? It says 200, it wasn't $1.50. Totally worth it if the party's about to be lit. There's a little button back here, so that's how I think I'm gonna turn it on, let's click on it. <gasps> Put it down. Oh wait. <gasps> Oh, only two are working. That's what that jiggly thing was. One of them fell off. But hey, look, it's a surprise coaster because right now it's not, nothing's happening. Party's dead. But as soon as your guests get there, nothing happens yet. <laughs> when they put their drinks down, it's supposed to light up. Do you see it? But it has to be heavy. Look, let me turn off the light so you guys can see. Let me just push the button so you guys can see now. See, the way it's supposed to work is that once they put their drink on top, it should just light up the party so they know. Damn, Vivian's a great host. Look at her drinks. Putting the cup on, nothing in it. I guess maybe that's why. Let's open up this drink. Ready? <gasps> it's a party! <laughs> that is so freaking cool, look at that! <gasps> changing colors. All the lights are working. They're just switching now. This was worth whatever 200 yen that I paid for it. How freaking cute is this thing? I love it and not even for a party like just a day at home. You're just trying to keep yourself you know joyful in these sad times where we're bored as hell at home. This will keep it lit and happy and some kind of celebration is happening at your house. You can't see it now because all the damn lights are on, but it is so cute. All the little lights in there are just like changing. It's a whole damn show. So I'm gonna give the little LED light up your potty coaster five Vivian heads. 10 if I could, but five. Number four large blow pipe and ball. How fun is this for the kids? This looks like fun, but the thing is you can't be walking around with it like at the store or somebody's house because it's a ball that's, I think, that I think you just like try to catch it. I don't know what it is, let's see. Oh, look at that. It's a little styrofoam ball. That's cute. Hours and hours of fun for the children and adults. If you're bored, quarantined, this is what you need in your life you can have like some kind of championship tournament going. Can I wipe this with like an alcohol pad? But it was sealed, I feel pretty good about it. Let me smell it. <laughs> that guarantees nobody's put their mouth on it. I'm good at stuff like this, let's see. Oh my God, did y'all see that trick? <laughs> You know what this is good for too? The fungalitis that's going around. People need to like strengthen their lungs. This is a good exercise for your lungs too, you see? Now it's not just for kids, it's for grandpa too. It's a pipe, like the good old days. You can say grandpa. If you can reach up to here, you're gonna get some BBQ. <laughs> Bam, and then if he does it, he wins. Is this a good exercise for your lungs? I think so. That reminded me of some crazy like <laughs> black magic shit happening there. So I'm gonna give the large blowpipe with the little foam ball five Vivian heads. Number five. Pet bottle dumbbell? 
I don't remember which area of the store I found this. It wasn't in the toys and it wasn't in the like exercise area. I want to say it was in like the kitchen area. It doesn't make sense for it to say pet bottle unless you're walking and holding this like a, I don't know what it means, but that's what they're calling it. It will hold two water bottles while you're carrying the dumbbells. I guess, I don't know what the hell it's for, but it's for all kinds of things. Hydration, exercise, side business, <laughs> sell soda all day. Walk around, people are gonna go, what is that? You're like, I'm selling these. $2 a pop. You want? On a cruise. And then if you turn it up like this, you can put grocery bag, grocery bag. I just made this into like four different products in one. Multi-purpose, multi-use, multitasking. <laughs> All the multis. One product can't be for one thing. That's not allowed. That's against the rule books. If you see the bottom here, that's where you're gonna put the bottle. Girl, if this fits, Doomsday is gonna be lit. When it's bug out day, run! Let me grab my, <laughs> let me grab my wine. <laughs> let me just run with it. There is a requirement for the size of this little opening and it says on here it has to be 28 millimeters. That's it. All the other instructions are in Japanese. So I can't tell you what it says. Okay, so easy peasy. This is genius and it's an exercise. <laughs> when I say that I laugh because my husband says it's exercise. He likes this exercise. Is that secure? It sure is. It's not, it can, <laughs> don't do that. You know what it is? These damn Walmart water bottles. The little lip thing on top is like super thin. These from Kroger have a taller like lippy thing. Is that what it's called? The little opening. This one's gonna stay on, see? This one doesn't have enough grip. I don't wanna pay more than 250 for a case of water, but damn, give me some more lip. <gasps> Look at it! <laughs> Do you love it? Sell some agua. <laughs> when you're about to check out at Walmart, dude, what? I gotta work it out. <laughs> if you're walking and you have your dog with you, one bottle for you, one bottle for the dog. This is my favorite. Oh my God. <gasps> no. See, this would have been dangerous if it fit. I don't think it's gonna fit. Oh no. Don't they have little baby bottles that I can buy? Isn't that a good idea? Somebody invent this. For wine, beer, champagne. That way when we're going to the beach, you just carry everything like this. I love the idea. It's well made. It's not cheap plastic at all. Should I flip it over? <gasps> it's waterproof, look. I'm gonna give the water barbell Five, Vivian, it was a wonderful find, you guys. Number six, ear pick. You heard that right. Ear pick with cotton buds. So they're Q-tips with a pick on one side. It's been a while since I <laughs> did these Q-tips. I've done, I don't know how many videos with all types of Q-tips. They have a fetish, I think. <laughs> In Japan, is there like an ear fetish thing? They love to clean ears, I don't know, but I love it myself, so I'm not hating. They have a whole assortment of different types of ear ticklers. <laughs> Heaven, <laughs> that's what it feels like to me. This one is unique. Don't push it in your ears. Doctors say don't do it. Okay, do not insert the cotton bud into your ear canal, but we can insert the pick size. <laughs> I would think the cotton bud was a little safer because it's cotton. Could we not hurt ourselves with the pick side? You get 60. You get a whole year supply of ticklers <laughs> for $1.50. And they're individually wrapped, which I absolutely love that as well. It's a regular Q-tip on one end and then you got your little pick thing on this side. That's scary. That's not gonna feel good, is it? Unless you like that hurt me, feels good kind of feeling. Some people like that, they're freaky. You don't have to look away for this because my ears are super clean. I always tell you guys that because I do this <laughs> every night. <laughs> okay, so I'm not gonna insert the cute, you guys know what that feels like. I just wanna see what this is for. It's like to scrape something out. <laughs> it's to scrape stuff out, but you're gonna go in too deep because it feels so good. Wow, this is an upgrade. <laughs> Hold on, I can't talk and do this at the same time. It's gonna be impossible. It feels like, you know when you're trying to scratch your back and you're just like rubbing it with something because you can't reach it. But then when your lover comes and they have just 
the right amount of nail <laughs> growth <laughs> and they scratch it real good <laughs> where you're like babe please don't stop <laughs> that's you have to be so careful tickling yourself <laughs> <laughs> this little hooky thing, we just leveled up. So I'm gonna give the ear hook with cotton bud five Vivian heads. Number seven. It's a bread sponge. When you grow up and start adulting, you don't have to be boring and have a regular damn sponge. Keep your house fun. So I bought these cute sponges. Look at that. I will wash dishes now. I won't, but if I had these, I would be tempted to wash them. They are in the shape of toast with a damn smiley face. The kids are gonna love to wash dishes because they have this. Number eight. These are little stickers that have like a little bit of Velcro. Boom, it's gonna hold your sponge on the side of your sink so they can drain and get nice and dry and not grow fungalitis. Is that not a good idea? Maybe $1.50 for two little stickers is a lot, but I thought it was cute because they're in the shape of little dogs. For your bathroom, how cute for the tub. When the kids are taking a shower, you can put these little stickers in the tub and that way they can put the little wash rag on there. Stick and peel and reusable. Can I stick and peel more than once? Stick to the refrigerator by the sink. How about we test it on my wall? Let's take it off of here. It's the cutest and I believe, if I remember right, they have different animals. I got the doggies, but you, I think they have cats and all kinds of stuff. Okay, here's our sponge. I think it's a cute little idea and I'm gonna put it in the sink and I'm gonna put one in my shower. Now, let's try to remove it to see if I can take it off. Now, I don't know how many times you're gonna be able to do that, but I think I can get like a couple of different spots with this one. If the kid in the shower is like, I don't want it there, then you can move it around for them. And now let's put the sponges in water just for fun. I wanna see what they look like when they're wet. Oh my God, <laughs> these are so much fun, look. I've dried off my table. Let's pour a little bit of water, just a little bit. I wanna see how well it absorbs. Well, it's not doing a very good job, but I still love them. I'm gonna use them to wash dishes, maybe not to pick up a lot of water. It's just moving the water around. But some sponges do this. So I'm gonna give the little toast sponges three Vivian heads, and I'm gonna give the fabric hooks four Vivian heads. Number nine, make up beautiful garden. That's all it says to pull weeds, folks. Instead of pulling them out like that, get a little hooky thing and you're gonna look so bougie in your garden. 150, I thought it was pretty cool. Look at it. What does it look like? Do they sell these now? Who the hell's gonna pick weeds with their hands, especially if you got one of those giant ones that look like sunflower seeds. <laughs> Have you seen those? You're like, dude, do you see the bush you got growing there? That's not a shrub. Motherfucker, that's a giant weed. Chop that shit out of there. I'm gonna take it outside and try it. Let's go. Don't judge me, my grass is a little tall. You see it right there? That's a damn weed. What you do is, you can get your hook like this, and then you're gonna hook it. Am I doing it wrong? <laughs> oh no. Damn it. Come on. <laughs> I don't do a lot of yard work, so I might be doing this wrong. Do I have some gardeners out there? Oh wait, I'm just twisting it like that. Uh, nope, let's try a different one. <laughs> just pull that shit with your hand. <laughs> you don't need the take two, action. <laughs> let's see. Did I get it? I think I pulled up the <laughs> I didn't get it. Maybe I gotta hook it like this. That's a giant, is that a rock? No, we gotta twist them. <laughs> I got it. You see? Pretty good. Okay, so it was a lot harder to use. Maybe if you're a gardener or a person who likes to be around grass, <laughs> maybe you can figure it out. It's made of great quality. It's not cheap. So for $1.50, I guess it's not bad. So I'm gonna give the garden weed puller three Vivian heads. I don't know that we need it. 
All right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool Daiso product that you think I should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.